My name is Emily and my assignment is on the windshield wiper which was originally invented by Mary Anderson. This topic interested me because being that this is such a common item, I wanted to really know the history behind it and especially that it was invented by a woman which was rare because of the time period. What are windshield wipers? Windshield wipers are devices that create a surface contact between the windshield surface and the wiper blade. They're used to remove debris and liquids to allow a clear view of what's ahead. They can be found on cars, um, headlights, airplanes, trains, and even space shuttles. Mary Anderson invented the windshield wiper. Little is known about her life except that she was from the cell and she came up with the idea of the windshield wiper after a trip to New York, which is paid for by an inheritance from her aunt. She, pa she patented the first windshield wiper in 1903, but her patent ended in 1920. What led up to the invention of the windshield wiper was that Mary Anderson saw a driver repeatedly have to get out of his car to clear the snow off the front windshield, and... Being from the south, she had never experienced snow and the problems it caused when driving. And she wanted to design something that would clear the window without a person having to get out of the car and get cold from snow or wet from rain. Mary Anderson was not a engineer or a machinist. She was just a common woman. So the original design she created was just a blade attached to a swivel nut and with a handle inside the car. The driver would be able to turn the handle and the swivel nut would allow the wiper braid to follow. She brought the patented design to Machinist in Binghamton to see if he could create her actual design. The idea of how the windshield wiper would work was that pressure would be applied from the wiper arm to the wiper blade to make contact with the windshield. This would allow the blade to easily clear whatever was obstructing the view. The driver would just crank the knob inside and the windshield would be clean. Mary Anderson tried to sell her patent to one company and it was rejected after that, she never actually tried to sell it to any other companies, and the reason for that um, was never really known. However, it's thought that she stopped trying because many of her friends in the South thought it was ridiculous that a woman would be inventing something, and as ridiculous as something of the windshield wiper. When her patent design ended, a man invented the mechanical windshield wiper. The design obviously changed. There were variations as the years went on, and as technology advanced and problems arose, engineers were able to perfect the design so that it would continue to reach the needs of the people. Some other designs were the first one that came right after Mary Anderson's design which was very similar. It was a hand cranked, but it contained a defroster. The design was double bladed and contained a felt line squeegee. Another design very similar to it was done by Trico and was called the sleet wand. This wiper used electric coils that were connected to the ignition. They were designed to heat the glass. Another design used was the vacuum wiper motor. This motor allowed for a hands-free design. This was very important because with the hand cranked mechanism, it created an unsafe driving situation because when the car was trying to turn or going through rough terrain, it was imperative that the driver was able to use both hands. But this vacuum wiper motor failed when trying to go uphill. In order to fix this, companies started using a noisy electric motor. Another design was done in 1962 by Bob Kearns. He designed the intermittent wiper, 
which allowed for wipers to be used in light rain or mist. Bob Kearns is very well known not for his only for his design, but for the lawsuits he placed against companies using his design. His design is very similar to what's used today. Since then, companies have designed windshield wipers with microsensors. These microsensors allow for the windshield wipers to adjust to the amount of rain and adjust the speed of the wipers to maintain a clear vision without overworking them.